Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple ureteric stones with multiple renal stones. You can see the left kidney and it shows gross moderate to severe hydronephrosis with hydrojureter. You can see the stones in the kidney as well as in the proximal portion of the ureter upper one third of the ureter these are the renal stones if the ureteral blockage is not treated urine can back up and damage the kidneys this can cause the pain and put the patient at risk of infection in severe cases a ureteral obstruction can lead to kidney failure or sepsis which is a life threatening infection a urinary tract infection may result when bacteria become trapped in urine that pools above the blockage when stones block the urinary tract for a long time urine backs up in the tubes inside the kidneys causing excessive pressure that can cause the kidney to swell hydronephrosis and eventually damage it now you can see a large number of stones are seen in the upper one third of the ureteri ureter and they collectively measure about 51.5 mm usually the ureter has a single stone but in this case you can see a large number of stones are seen i think most of the viewers have had not seen such a large number of stones in the ureter ureter now you can see the patient is lying prone and you can see the kidney stones as well as well as the ure ureteral stones ureteral blockage can lead to kidney damage kidney stones and the infections symptoms can uh, include the pain in the affected side decreased or increased urine flow and urinating at night symptoms are most more common if the blockage is sudden and complete now you can see the renal stones a stone can remain in the kidney for years or decades without causing any symptoms or damage to the kidney typically the stone will eventually move through the urinary tract and is passed out of the body in the urine a stone may cause pain if it becomes stuck and block the flow of urine now around 80% of kidney stones that are smaller than 4 mm will pass on their own in about 31 days approximately 60% of kidney stones that are 4 to 6 mm will pass on their own in about 45 days but the largest stones may not pass usually treatment includes pain relievers and drinking plenty of water to help pass the stone out of the urinary tract sometimes medical procedures are needed to break up large stones so they can pass out of the body it is generally thought that only smaller stones may be impacted in the ureter but in this case you can see a lot larger stones and a large number of stones there is moderate to severe dilatation of the renal pelvic ulcerative system with mild to moderate hydrojurator now again you can see the stones in the ureters in the left ureter once the stone gets caught in the ureter it may partially or completely block the flow of urine this blockage causes pain that is usually felt in the middle of the back of the back middle of the back or side and may radiate towards the groin 
If the stone that is blocking urine flow is left untreated, it can cause damage to the kidney or ureter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.